Hey guys, welcome to another lunch hour review. Today I'm going to try one of these Kroger pretzel bun egg and sausage um, with Parmesan spread. Um, it's like a little breakfast sandwich. You can see the picture of it. We bought these at Kroger, of course, for $5.99, but you do get two sandwiches. It's pretty heavy. Um, it's 15.36 ounces or 435 grams for the box. That's, that's the total. Um, each sandwich is 630 calories, so not a low calorie food. Um, and there's the other info, calculate whatever you want to out of that. I'm assuming the carbs are, yeah, 56 carbs. So this is definitely not a keto meal, that's for sure. Um, so the directions, this is a microwavable thing. So you're gonna keep it frozen until it's ready to use. This is a frozen sandwich. Remove sandwich from plastic wrap, place sandwich open face, opening between the eggs and the sausage on a microwave safe plate. I just got a paper plate. Uh, microwave it high for two minutes and 30 seconds or until hot. Let stand in microwave for one minute before serving. Uh, because the difference in microwave ovens, heating times may vary. Um, I'll probably drop mine to 215 um, just to be sure. And if it's not hot, you know, I can always put it in there for another 15 seconds. But usually uh, my, my oven's pretty, my microwave's pretty hot. So there's the pretzel bun. Let me turn this down. To where, there we go. So we're going to remove it from the package. It's going to make some noise. going to open it and it said to split it between the eggs and the sausage right eggs and the sausage so there's one half there's the other half quite frozen quite hard um, so i'm gonna get this in the microwave for 215 and i'll be back all right so i put it in for an extra 15 so i ended up doing the full two minutes two and a half minutes um also once it was done i moved this uh, the bottom over here to the side a little bit because it was really wet underneath of it and i didn't want all that moisture soaking up into the pretzel bun but it looks um it looks really good I'm gonna let it cool off here. It's supposed to let it sit for a minute anyway. I'm gonna let it cool off and just uh, let it settle. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna let it sit, cool off where I can actually eat it. I really smell the Parmesan. It's a really strong smell, but the sausage pie looks really good too. So anyway, I'll be back once it's cooled off. I gave it a minute or so to cool off. I left it open face until it cooled off enough where I could eat it. I did cut it in half just so you can see the inside. Um, you can tell that's an actual, a real egg. Imagine that. They use a real egg with a real egg yolk. And the egg yolk is still a little soft, so I think that's cool. It's a little, um, well, it's not soft, it's rubbery. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll just ignore that. So I'm going to take a bite right here. I pushed out the entire yolk of that egg. The yolk's pretty dry, but um, overall the sandwich is pretty good. The pretzel bun, the top is good. It's got a good chew to it. It's got a good texture to it. The bottom is a little hard, not like really hard, like shoe leather hard, but it is a little, it's a little tough. Hmm. I tell you what I really like is the flavor of that sausage. It's very, very good. It has a really good flavor to it. It's not a hot sausage, like spicy hot. So if you if you don't like spicy food, but you like the flavor of sausage, I think you'd be fine with this because I don't I don't get any spices from the sausage. Now, if you really don't like spicy food, you might get something. I truly don't get any spice. So don't blame me if you get spice. I'm just telling you how I interpret it. I'm not getting picking up any heat spice at all. Um, but I am getting a little bit of that Parmesan sauce. It has a little bit of that flavor. Good thing is it's not overpowering. If they put too much on there, it would have been like, oh, that's too much. But um, it really balances well with the egg and the sausage. Um, it really is a good mixture of that. And the pretzel bun, again, good flavor. The bottom's a little tough, but I'm sure that's up to your microwave. But um, overall, the flavor's pretty good. I think it's good. Personally, I would have rather had a little more spice in the sausage so where you know, oh, I'm eating sausage. Um, as it is, it's really just kind of a smoky meat flavor, really more than anything. I'm gonna give these a four out of five though. I really do think they're good, well worth it. Big sandwich, I mean, you get quite a bit of food here uh, for your 630 calories and it's kind of with that greasy feel to it. So if you like that good um, kind of like home cooking kind of thing, then go for it. I think you'll really like it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.